Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Luxverb. This is video five, and today we're talking about the envelope section. So let's load up a default preset here, and let's take a look at what's going on down here. So we have three modes here. We have off, wet, and decay. Off is off. Wet is going to be corresponding to the modulation for the wet slider in the output section, and then decay is going to be corresponding to the modulation of the decay knob over here. So for this demonstration, let's go to wet right here, and let's play a couple notes. Now, some of the first things we see is this blue line here. Now, this is going to be the uh, envelope over here. So if we drag our decay and our tack all the way down, we can see this shape going on here. If we increase our tack, we can see this envelope being rounded off a little bit more, so a slower tack, and then increasing our decay. It takes a little bit longer for this curve to go back to the bottom. If we have it quick, it's going to go down pretty quick. So these, these two knobs correspond to this blue envelope right here, and the smoothing is going to smooth out that envelope right there. Now we have threshold. Now this is going to be the orange line here. So always keep a look at where this line is in, relative, in, rel, in relation to your volume over here. So let's bring this threshold down quite low. It's kind of similar to a compressor, so we're going to be affecting the signal right over here. Now this scale knob is important because this is going to be in addition to what we have here. So as we increase this to the right, when we press a note, we're going to hear more of that output wet. So it's kind of modulating and moving this knob up as we press a note based upon the envelope set settings that we have down here. So if we have a slower attack, We can see these gaps here where it doesn't get to full volume yet, but if we have it all the way at the bottom, it's pretty instant. And if we increase our decay, it's going to get decay that reverb according to this decay. So moving on, what's cool with this scale, we can turn this the other way here. So when we hit a note, we don't really hear reverb until we really let go. So it's good for percussive type of stuff. So if you have a kick going on and you have this mapped like that, once you hit the note, the kick's not really going to interfere with a reverb. It's almost like a gated type of reverb. And then moving on, we have this low cut here. And according to the manual, this says, applies a low cut filter to the input of the envelope follower in order to remove low frequencies. Cutoff frequency is in hertz. It can be useful to have the envelope follow transients, which tend to be higher in frequency. Low frequencies can confuse the envelope follower, which this control can help to avoid. So if there's transients that is following and low frequencies get in there and it kind of confuses it, that's where you would want to reach for this low cut. Next up, we have the offset. When set to zero, the modulation is monopolar. Then if it's greater than zero, it is bipolar. And then keep in mind that all these settings here work the same way for the decay setting as well. So you're basically choosing which to modulate the wet signal over here or the decay signal over or this decay knob over here. Now moving on to the side chain, which is really interesting. So for this demonstration, I have a kick drum going on here. So four kick drums and it's going to channel one. Now this is getting sent only to the reverb here and the send is all the way at the bottom. So I'm not sending this to the master and it has to be sent to the channel that Luxverb is on. So then we right click this and select house, which is the one I have here. And let's turn this on. Now, when I press play, we can see this kick drum here that's happening right here is also going to be the same thing that's triggering this envelope here. So we can have essentially a side chain that's affecting this type of reverb. So it's a very interesting kind of thing to, to work with. Now let's load up our pigments here again, and let's kind of listen to see what's happening. So that's basically how the sidechain thing works in a nutshell. So you can send a different type of signal through the sidechain that can move these envelopes here. And if you didn't notice here at the top here, the blue is the envelope, which we discussed before. The orange is the threshold. The green is going to be the wet. The red is going to be the decay. So as I switch to decay, this turns to red. If I go back to wet, this is going to be going back to green. And then we have the spectrum view, which we've seen before. 
and then the peaks. So let's turn this sidechain off so we can clear out this thing here as well. Let's remove spectrum. Let's turn this off. And now over here in the gray, we can kind of see these peaks going on. And last but not least, we have our meter on the very right hand side to see how loud everything is. So that's basically Luxverb in a nutshell. It's a very cool reverb. Highly recommend you spend some time with it. It's very well worth the price and it sounds really cool. There's a lot of cool effects that you can make with it. Not to mention the endless amounts of presets that they give you stock with this reverb. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something throughout this series. And if there's anything that still seems kind of confusing, please let me know and we will revisit that in a future video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.